coffee, then it's time to clean up, go for my first hike. After I load up my car, it's now time to get out of town, and this is probably the toughest part uh, because traffic is always uh, tight. Um, I live in downtown Seattle, it's just the nature of what living in downtown is all about. So it actually takes me a little while till I get to the freeway and can start driving for a while, but um, you know, it's also the sign that, hey, I'm getting out of town, and that's a really exciting thing as well. Now I have to say, uh, this time out, um, I did a much better job packing. One of the important things when you're loading up your car is you want to make sure that you pack, uh, pack in a good way. Um, so I worked today, worked all uh, up until about four o'clock, um, and then from four o'clock until I hit the road, it's about an hour, and that's because I'm loading up, finishing stuff. Uh, up for the road. Uh, if I'm going to be chefing it up on the road, I like to get my mise en place done early enough so that I don't have to have it while I'm out on the road. Uh, it cuts down on, on cooking and makes everything a little bit easier, especially when you're going to do fancy dinners on the road. And you know my motto, no need to eat poorly on the road. This is one of the toughest parts of getting out of the city, getting onto uh, Highway 5. That's where I have to go today. Uh, and during this time of day, it's you know almost 5, 15, 5, 20. Um, it's hard to get out. And this is kind of the middle of the week, so this is kind of normal here. driving uh, to this state park, um, I'm always wondering what it would have been like if I actually had my RV here with me uh, driving through the city or driving through traffic to get someplace to get on the road. Uh, I see some RVs and, and some folks uh, towing trailers and um, it, it looks a little intimidating. Um, you know, I've done it a couple of times where I've driven the RV through some, uh, you know, major city kind of highway system. But uh, here, uh, I think it would have been interesting and different to do it that way. One thing I'm definitely learning about uh, leaving town in Seattle is I I've got to find the right time of day to leave. Uh, the last couple of times I've left, it's been later in the day, um, four o'clock, something like that, and that it's just not good enough. So I, I think if I'm going to try and actually head out, um, I got to do it earlier in the day, uh, probably not around the morning traffic jam. Um, but we want to do it maybe, I don't know, 10 or 11. Uh, so we got to work on that so I don't get stuck in this kind of traffic.
you know, part of driving to these uh, state parks, you get to see some really nice stuff, this beautiful area. I'm not quite sure where I'm at, but uh, it's making the drive a little bit easier. So I think I'm finally getting close to the park. This um, uh, this particular state park is, I, I don't know. I, it's gonna end up being almost two hours outside of Seattle, but I don't know that it's really two hours. I think with traffic and everything, that's how long it took this time. Um, but this is a, a, a normal trip for me. You know, I, I work the day, uh, try to get out at a reasonable time. Again, still have to work on that, um, but this is where I start to decompress because this is a beautiful drive. Um, you know, soon I'm going to be at that campsite setting up uh, and then all of this will have been worth it. So I'm here. Uh, it's now time for me to set up camp, uh, get something cooking, um, and that's what I'm going to do now. So that's it. That's how I set up my site. That's how I get out of town. That's how I start to enjoy myself out in the Pacific Northwest in a great state park like this. Hey, that's going to do it right now for me. Make sure you follow me all over social media at RV Jedi. And then, of course, you can follow me on the blog at RVJedi.com. Get out there. Enjoy yourself outside. Let me know how you get out of town. Love to hear about it. We'll see you next time.